Now we are here uh, on the banks of the Anacostia River here in Washington, D.C., or as we like to call it, the Douglas Commonwealth. Uh, the Anacostia River really divides the wards of D.C. There's eight wards in D.C., two of them across the Anacostia River here. And unfortunately, these two wards on this side of the Anacostia River have been the most disinvested over many, many generations, decades of disinvestment. D.C., just like practically all other places across the United States, instituted racial redlining. The legacy of racist policies is directly impacting how people can and are living here today. The median family income for a family of four in D.C. is $129,000. Here on the other side of the river, the median family income is under $40,000. It's, it's an incredibly stark contrast. Folks here have simply not had the same kind of opportunities as what has happened across the other side of the river. So here on the east side of the Anacostia River, we're actually sitting in a National Park Service. This is a federal government land. People around here in the neighborhoods love to bike and take walks here. However, as I'm sitting here, the grass is not cut. The garbage has not been collected. On the west side of the river, there's a, a yacht club sitting directly on the other side. There are grocery stores, many, several grocery stores right on the other side of the river. There are no grocery stores over here. There is nowhere really to sit down and have a bite to eat. Several decades ago, DC under the Williams administration principally wanted to make major investments into some infrastructure and some previously underdeveloped locations in DC. And one of those was on the west side of the Anacostia River, the Naval Yard area. Um, and there, there was uh, a lot of funding put into redevelopment of places for retail, restaurants, things that people would consider to be nice amenities. But the question was, who's benefiting from these amenities? And that same infrastructure investment did not take place on the east side of the river. In this context, there is a project called the 11th Street Bridge Park. And this park was designed to physically connect the west side to the east side of the Anacostia River. It also is envisioned as a way to activate green space, um, to build out more of the infrastructure so that there could be not so much cars, but a pedestrian access, biking access. While it was envisioned like this, the folks that were behind this actually did realize that it could spur unintended consequences of gentrification and displacement. We're very lucky that they did engage in a process called an equitable development plan. So there really was a serious attempt made to engage folks and try to address this issue of potential for displacement, not just caused by the bridge park, but caused by a lot of other development, hyper development that is occurring all across DC. Actually, the idea of doing a community land trust came out of several of those meetings because residents who live around here said, what about us? Where are we going to go when real estate prices rise? They came up with the name Douglas Community Land Trust to pay honor to Frederick Douglas, who lived here in the later parts of his life up in Anacostia neighborhood of DC on the east side of the Anacostia River. Douglas Community Land Trust first rental property was the 65 unit Savannah Apartments building. Douglas Community Land Trust was able to invest $1.3 million in the property to reach the affordability levels that the developer and the residents wanted it to be. DC is visited by hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. And who are the backbone but the people who are living here in Ward 7 and 8? Poor people, or I should better say low wage earners. Douglas Community Land Trust wants to support those folks and the people who come behind them. 
there is still an incredibly strong history here, a very proud history of families going back many generations. We have to pay attention to what the culture of the place is and try to do our best to maintain that sense of place for people so that it doesn't just become an anywhere USA.